<laughs> to have something slip out of your fingers right in front of your face, like not even having time to grasp what was going on, um, to have that senior year pulled away from me was just tough. Um, I grew up in Duluth, Minnesota, and I, I started soccer when I was five years old, and I, um, I ended up playing soccer my whole life, and, um, and I just, it was one of those sports that I just loved to play, and I could go and do it wherever I wanted. My junior year spring season um, was kind of tough. I uh, had some great experiences playing soccer, but at the same time, um, when junior year hit, I, um, when we lost that conference game in um, Oklahoma my junior year, we, I told Bailey Durvin, I turned to her and I said, we have one more year, let's make it uh, the most we can. And, um, and then I didn't get that chance to play my senior year. That, I'll never forget that first uh, preseason you know, a northern Minnesota player, not used to the heat, not used to the humidity and so forth, and we have our really tough fitness test, and she passed it. And I knew from that day that she was gonna be a special player and just a special person uh, from her work ethic standpoint and just her personality and so forth. And so she's been everything that we thought she was gonna be and more, and uh, has really helped us get to where we're at today. Uh, and then, you know, not just on the field though, and off the, uh, off the field, she's has a great personality, a uh, great communicator, great leader, and so we're blessed to have her in the program and it kind of defines what we want as in the goalkeeper role, but just in the team in general. So when we were doing spring workouts, I just I just knew I wasn't where I needed to be. And, um, you know, I kind of got the feeling that I may be pregnant. And so I um, ended up going to the doctor and got it confirmed that I was. And, um, it was scary, you know, because I'm so far from home. I, my parents aren't here to be with me. I had my friends and roommates um, from the soccer team and of course Clay, and he was um, very supportive, very helpful through everything. Um, but I was, I was very scared. I, um, I didn't know what we were gonna do. Uh, we had planned out a lot of other things and this was not the plan and um, so when we found out, we kind of started to replan things. You know, you don't you don't expect those kind of things. You know, you don't think it's going to happen to you, and when it does, you feel like you're going to be prepared. And um, we eventually got prepared, but at first it was a big shock. Once we kind of confirmed it with the doctor, um, I had to tell coach next, and um, that was that was pretty tough. Um, he is, um, he has been a big part of my life, especially since I am so far from home. Um, you know, he's been supportive with, you know, everything and through, um, through everything since I've been a freshman on the team. He's always been supportive of me and um, always just pushing me to do my best on the field, off the field. And so he was a role model to me. And so when I had to tell him, um, it was tough. I, I knew it wasn't going to be an easy conversation and I, I think I broke down in tears before I even got words out of my mouth. Any time of, you know, that thought is being a coach of female athletes, you know, that's a possibility at some point. And so, um, you know, to say that I wasn't shocked would be an understatement. I mean, to say that I was shocked would probably be an understatement. Uh, I was definitely shocked and um, concerned for her well-being. You know, we wanted to make sure that she was going to um, be taken care of and so forth. And um, you know, we're, she's obviously in good hands with our staff here, and oh, there's a lot of emotions going through her herself too, as far as you know what the future holds and so forth. And so I told her from that day, you know, we would be here for her, and we'll never you know turn our back on her. And um, you know, it was obviously a surprise, but uh, needless to say, you know, looking back, she did everything the right way, and um, you know, it's been a it's a blessing to have McKenna in our lives now, and um, I couldn't be thrilled that she's back on the team. At having her for two years and then not having her at all and um, not knowing if she was going to come back or not. Like, I remember, when was that? My sophomore year when it was senior day and her talking about like me wanting or her wanting me to be the person like coming and giving her 
her senior day gifts and all that stuff. And like, I guess it was kind of one of those things where I expected to have a last season with her. And when I didn't know for sure if I was gonna get that, when she found out that she was pregnant, it's kind of sad. And again, it was, it was hard a little bit to adjust because I had looked up to her and kind of she took she took me under her wing honestly whenever I came in and so um, definitely definitely a void when she was gone. It was especially hard before we had her I had to go about the whole season um, almost the whole season before we had her so I was going to every game that I possibly could. Um, I traveled once or twice to watch them play and it was I was excited for the girls because they were doing well and I was excited for what what they had a possibility of but I was bummed because I couldn't be a part of that and uh, that was supposed to be my senior season and those were my teammates those were my roommates um, my friends playing on the field and I didn't have that chance to play with them um, so that was tough but I was happy for their success and happy for um, what they were able to accomplish I was just bummed that I couldn't be a part of it I started talking to coach and I said, hey, we're gonna stay in the area. I still have one more year of eligibility. Um, and that's kind of when I thought like, hey, there's potential that I actually could come back and play. Um, I didn't know where I was gonna be like physically ready or fit or you know, if my muscle memory was gonna be the same, but I just knew that I wanted to have that opportunity. Um, so to have the opportunity to come back and play is um, really exciting and fantastic. Um, we're just hoping for the best and um, ready for the season to come. I knew that she didn't, she really missed soccer and she, she felt like she was missing out and she really felt like she left, uh, let her team down and all the girls and coach. So when she got a chance to play again this year, um, we jumped on it and I totally supported her and, and wished her the best. Something that we had talked about during that initial conversation uh, is that we'll never close the door on anybody. Uh, and so I knew that it would be a, something that could be a possibility down the road. Now, did I think it would happen? I don't, you know, probably not. Just having, being a dad myself and knowing, um, you know, the stresses that a, a baby puts on you and, you know, with going to school and so forth. And um, it's a very rewarding experience, obviously, but it takes up a lot of your time and energy and so forth. But if there's anybody that can handle something like that, it's Sarah. And um, you know, I told her when she came back and and asked to be a back on the team that you know we'd like for her to you know compete in the spring and so forth. And she was more than willing to do that. And um, she's done a great job so far this spring, and I'm looking forward to the fall. I actually found out from Coach. I was in a meeting with him, and he told me, and I was very happy, like to the point of like tears, like happy, because I mean. Not only just for me, like I, I missed having her on the team. Um, she, I feel like, deserves that closer more than anybody when you get that taken away from you. I mean, people get injured and stuff like that's just things like that happen. It's hard to deal with. And so she's, I think, really deserves to get to have that closure. So I was really excited, not only for myself, to have her back on the team, but for her as well. I didn't have very long to get back in shape, back um, ready to go. So I actually got cleared about a month or a half a month before spring season started to really start doing a lot of physical um, endurance and lifting and all that stuff. I was able to, you know, do light walking and um, small jogs here and there, but I got cleared about a month or half a month before season or spring season started to really start getting into it so um, it took me a couple of weeks during spring to kind of start getting back into it um, and I think that I'm definitely definitely way uh, better than what I started out as at the beginning of the spring but I know that there's still room for improvement. I, I can't be happier um, I couldn't be happier but we are um, so blessed to have her and uh, for me to have this potential opportunity, you know, to come back and play and to finish my senior season, that's, um, I don't know who wouldn't want that. And yes, she was not planned by any means, but 
We are so lucky to have such a beautiful, healthy daughter, and um, and I couldn't I couldn't want more. Um, yeah, it was de it's definitely a surprise, and every day is different. You know, we we go day by day. There's no planning um, weeks in advance because you know you, we know we never know what to expect with her. So um, it's one of those things where I I'm so grateful that I have this in our little family is starting to grow. You know, life happens, but we are so grateful for the experience that we are going through, and I think it makes us stronger um, as a couple, as a relationship, and as a family. Um, and we've definitely had to grow up a lot faster than we were expecting, and um, now we're starting out this little family of ours, and it's, it's been such a great experience so far.